Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you on today? I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Guess what time it is. It is story time with Ms. Doris. I'm so excited to be reading you an awesome, awesome live story on today. I'm so, so excited. Well, but before we get started with our story, I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited on uh, today to be reading you a live, live story. Today's story is going to be coming out of our children's Bible. Yesterday, we didn't get to read a story out of our children's Bible, but today we are going to be reading a children's story out of our Bible. But before we get started with that story, remember we are still doing our sign alphabets, our alphabets in sign language. So today we are going to be doing the letter S. Today's the letter S we're going to be doing in sign language. And we have the capital S and the small S. So we have the capital and the small. So guys, go ahead on and get those fingers up. Put those fingers up so Miss Doris at story time can see those fingers. Wiggle them around. Hello, Samario. Hello, Poopus. How are you? Hello, Seppi. Hello, So So. Hello, Royce. How are you on today? Hello, Amelia. Harmony Tanelia. Tyler. Hello, Rome. Hello, London. Hello, Boss. How are you guys on today? Hello, Dominique. How are you on today? We are getting ready to do our sign lab. Hello, Shakana, Shaquavi, and Minerva. How are you on today? So let's go ahead. We're going to be doing the letter S in signs. So we're going to fold the four fingers, put the thumb across like that. So let's do it again. Fold the four fingers, take the thumb, put it across like this. This is the letter S in sign. So let's do it again. Fold the four fingers, put the thumb across. This is the letter S. Now we're going to do it without looking at the letter so hands up, fold the fingers, thumb across. We're going to do it a couple of more times. Then we're going to do it silently without saying the letter out loud. Ready, set, go. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Awesome job. Now let's do it a little faster. Hands up. Let me see those fingers, guys. Hands up. We're gonna do it about four times. Let's do it a little, little faster. Ready, set, go. Wow, you guys did an awesome, awesome job. Now try doing the letter S while saying that the letter S, letter S in sign, letter S, good job, give you guys Give yourselves a hand. You guys did an awesome job. Let's go ahead on and get started with the story. Today's story is going to be coming out of our children's Bible. And this is Daniel and the King's Dream. Coming from Daniel's chapters 1 and 2. Daniel and the King's Dream. Daniel's 1 and 2. So let's get started with the story. Right click. Daniel and the King's Dream. Let's turn the music down just a tad, tad bit. Story time. Well, it went off. Turn it on just a little tad bit. It's not working. Okay, Daniel and the King's Dream. Thousands of people from Judah were put to work in Bologna. They were captive. They were not allowed to go back to their homeland. Three years had gone by. One day, King Nebuchadnezzar sent for the chief advisor. He asked him to go among the Jews and to pick the best looking, smartest young man. The young man would be taught to speak and write the language of Babylonia. 
they would be trained to work as officials in the powers. One of the young men was Daniel, and Daniel followed God's laws. God had made him very, very wise. He could tell the meaning of dreams. Daniel was trained for three years. Then the king gave him a job in the royal court. A few years later, there was some terrible news at the court. The king had given an order that all the wise men in the court, including Daniel, were to be put to death. Daniel was a member of the royal family of Judah. Daniel's Hebrew name means God is my judge. Wise men. These wise men were magicians, enchanters, sorcerers, and astrologers. They made their living on the ability people believe they had to contact the gods of gods and interpret signs. Why did the king give such a cruel order? Daniel asked. The king's officials told him, The king has a strange dream. The king had a strange dream. He thinks that if the wise men were truly wise, they would be able to tell about the dream and what it means. But no one can do it. So he is angry with all the wise men. Daniel prayed to God and asked him to give the secret of the king's dream. That night he saw the dream and its meaning. He hurried to see the king. You don't need to put your wise men to death. God has shown me the meaning of your dream, Daniel said. And he told the king what he had seen. After Daniel had finished speaking, the king bowed low to him. Now I know that your God is above all other gods and kings because he gave you the power to explain this mystery. The end. That was an awesome, awesome story we read of today. Daniel and the King's Dream. I enjoyed reading you guys a short story today coming from Daniel's chapters 1 and chapters 2. Well, remember guys, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you're not feeling well and they would take really, really, really good care of you and when you're out and about taking care of business or with mom dad nana or papas make sure you're practicing safety safety first make sure you are wearing your mask don't take your mask off guys unless someone tells you to well take care i enjoyed reading you an awesome story on today don't forget today's letter we did in sign was the letter s and the letter s is formed like this take care don't forget to smile. You are love. God bless you all.